Hi, this is Chris Smith, Shambles Guru on the interweb, and I'm in the Shambles Cottage in Chiang Mai, North Thailand. In fact, I'm in the garden at the moment, and uh, there's a big thunderstorm coming in, so you're going to get lots of ambient sounds. This could be fun. I hope uh, iPads don't get uh, struck by lightning. I'm doing all of this on, on the iPad. Uh, I'm actually recording it with this uh, display recorder app. So I want, what I want to do is I want to uh, just raise awareness of this app on the iPad and iPhone called Xquake 2. This is their website. Actually, if I show the full page, you'll see a bit more of uh, the app. And this is a brilliant app. If you're a geography teacher, this is one that should definitely, 110%, be in your geography IT toolbox um, because it shows you real-time data for earthquakes and I think volcanoes as well. So let's, uh, let's go over and have a look at the, the app. Here's my front page. I have 1,300 apps on my iPad at the moment. Ah, I, yeah, I know. And I know everyone intimately. Yeah, right. So I'm looking for geography. Here we go. I went past it, I think. Here we go, geography. And on the right-hand side it says Xquake. And let's touch that. And this is going to uh, be interesting to see how long it uh, takes on my internet connection. Well, that was quick. So we have a globe here. Uh, it's brought up. And what it's done, it's just pulled in real live data. I'm not quite sure of the source. I'm sure it's easy to find out. Real live data of the earthquakes that are around the world. And if I pinch it a bit and scroll around, you can see where they are. Now, there may not look many, but that's partly because of the configuration that I've set up on this app. Let me show you that. Top right hand corner, there's a cog. Oh, there's some thunder. Uh, um, and on here you can configure it to show what size earthquakes you want to include in your display or how long ago it took them to take place. It took, you know, how long ago they, they actually took place. Um, uh, and you can also change the appearance. At the bottom there, if I click 3D Simple, it actually changes the uh, the globe from the sort of satellite view to... Oh, look at this. It's, this is brilliant. I wish I had this as a, as a kid at school. Geography teachers, you, you're so fortunate to have this real live data set available to you now uh, to work with students. Uh, but I like the 3D satellite. Let me close that. There's several things that you can you can put cities on. You can so you can see all the major cities around the world. Actually, let's leave that on. Let me close that. If I press the uh, the list next to the cog, you get the list of the ones that are being displayed. Remember, the display, the ones that are being displayed, are in that configuration we just looked at. Little finger there, <laughs> giving you the finger. It's, uh, it allows you to send emails and print, and the middle one at the top there says locate me. If I click that, here we are, it's located me in north of Thailand there. If I zoom in on some of them, let me zoom in on something, maybe over here. Let me zoom in on... Oh, oh, that's fortunate. You see the smoke in the middle? If I can zoom in on there... Now oh, listen to the birds in the garden. You see there's uh, some volcanoes. <laughs> it's even volcano activity shown. This is brilliant. I love it. This is free today. It's the 13th of October and it's free for a day or two. Normally this app is two, two or three dollars. <laughs> worth three dollars. If I click on one of these, let me click on one. And so I clicked on that one in Japan. And what should come up, if we wait a bit longer, is uh, a map. Uh, on the left hand side now, here we go, showing you exactly where in Japan. This one was in the sea, as you can see. And uh, on the top here, it shows you some other information. You can zoom in, and isn't that brilliant? Let me close that. And I think that's it. It's uh, uh, earthquakes in real time uh, application. Let me go back to here, just so you can see the website to go to. And there's a uh, URL on the the top there. So I hope uh, I hope you found that useful. And lucky geography teachers, have fun.